So here we go with another algebraic fraction. We've got 3 subtract x all over 2 equals x plus 2 all over 3. So we're going to look for a lowest common denominator. And both 2 and 3 go into 6. So that's what I'm going to choose. To get from 2 into 6, I've multiplied by 3. So I have to times the top by 3. To get from 3 to 6, I have to multiply by 2. So I multiply the top by 2 also. Now I've got maths magic. All of this over 6 equals all of this over 6 means this must equal this. So I can just rewrite the numerators without any denominator. It's pretty cool really. Then expand my brackets. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative x is negative 3x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we want to collect the x's on one side. Negative 3x is the lowest, so it's a negative 3, so I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 3x to both sides. I get 9. Negative 3 plus 3x is 0. 2 plus 3 is 5x plus 4. Now I want to get x on its own, so I'm going to take away this 4 from both sides. 9 take 4 is 5. 5x, 4 take 4 is 0. Now I've got x, I need to divide by 5, divide by 5, I get 5 divided by 5 is 1, is equal to 